<coughs> liberals are eating each other again. They're beefing now. This time, it's a beef between the hipster liberals and the progressive liberals. And of course, liberalism is always splitting itself apart for the interests of whatever elite there is. It's a very special snowflake like ideology, liberalism. Because everyone's brand of liberalism is that much more special. That can get annoying, of course, because y'all niggas already know that it's all shit. It, they find different ways of finding that shit. The kinds of liberals that are beefing right now, and this is what I've noticed, are the Luddite liberals and the progressive liberals. The very technocratic liberals versus the liberals that are hipsterific. They almost seem to be reactionary. Except they got too much of that liberal baggage to do anything with it. And for me to explain how I came up with this conclusion, a lot of liberals are getting on Obama's case because of the GMO issue. Now I think the way that they handle that issue is flawed. Yet they're also the same kind of liberals I got on the case against Google Glasses, uh, they got on the case against 3D printing, they're getting on the case on everything because these are the whole food store liberals, they're liberals that wear hipster clothing, the trendy shit, uh, they're the ones that like to go to Reddit and these alternative news websites that aren't like the MSNBCs and shit like that, they like doing that. And obviously, they like to claim that they care about health, but stuff like the paleo diet, that takes them off. The idea that meat is actually good for you and not bad for you, that pisses them off. Because veganism is, in their eyes, a beacon of health. Architecturally, they like some old school architecture a lot more than our modernistic buildings, you know, the big skyscrapers that we're all supposed to live in, eventually they're getting around it, probably isn't going to happen because these tall skyscraper buildings are projects without a future that haven't been planned very well. And there's such a risk for damage that who would fucking want that? At the same time, I find these kinds of liberals very antithetical to Western civilization. These are the Tumblrites that really dislike any technological progress and anything that really has ambition. And this also means religion, of course, especially for the ones that are less hipsterific and more emo. Emo people piss me off. Like, I don't mean emo as in sensitive, I mean emo as in the cultural expression. That doesn't necessarily mean scene kid, since you can look very emo and sound very emo without going blood on the dance floor on everyone. But those guys tend to really piss me off. Because they're against any 
any good technological progress that will take us to the future, but they're not really against the stuff they like. They, they love their Starbucks, and they love their Macs when the iOS 7 isn't trying to check their fingerprints. They love their apps to test if certain foods have the GMOs or not. They're not really concerned with, fully concerned with, all the aspects of our well-being. Some of them might be, but they're easily impressionable. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Yet, these are ironic liberals. They're ironically trying to have that reactive sphere attitude with all the, without all the interesting commitments to a higher tradition. And it's not Western at all. Where the progressives are really fucking hate these kinds of liberals. The progressive liberals, the technocratic liberals, are, first off, they love it, GMO. They don't care about the health consequences that I'm convinced do exist. Uh, they do love all this shit, but it's because they want to feed the world. They're using it as a vehicle for egalitarianism and mass world peace, the John Lennon, Michael Jackson dream. That's what they're seeing it for. And it's actually kind of funny too, like... These are the mainstream media watchers, or more likely they are the mainstream media watchers, and they push for a more racial narrative. It's not just about out a bunch of emasculated whites. These are essentially the more... These people have more substance and aesthetic to their views. And you can tell, these aren't just a bunch of white boy, whole food, ramen shoppers. These guys are genuinely against their own kind, and they're generally fucking out to turn every the entire planet into some sort of I guess, castrated entity. And of course, 3D printing probably can help them achieve their goals of feeding the rest of the world, giving everyone their material needs, having a zero-scarcity economy, with, of course, aesthetics that are way different from the Starbucks Reacto liberals, and achieving that ambition. But at what cost? Really? Uh, the white population is barely one billion. Even if it's not that. It, seriously, that, that's just walling out. Um, by 2040, we're going to hit the new digit in terms of population. It's mostly going to be a bunch of overfed Africans. That does concern me because, like a jar of flies, they're going to essentially become more disease-ridden. And while their population is way too high to be sustainable, they're going to destroy themselves out. And of course, the peak oil liberals are going to be on my side when I say that shit, but fuck those guys too. Yeah, I mean the peak oil ethno nationalists. They're another story. Those guys get some shit right. In fact, they get a lot of shit right. But there's some advantages and disadvantages with that. Really, the issue in my mind that comes with that is that. They're going to have no choice but to try to come to our populations, really. They're going to try to hop up in there, because 
Europe, Australia, all these other places, even Asia, but I don't think Asia will allow that shit, since they're more grounded than us at the moment. These are people that are very... I, I'm not going to blame them anymore if they're going to try to hop into our population. We're kind of overfeeding them and making them disease-ridden and doing all this stuff. Don't don't feed the monkeys. Don't feed the... Don't overfeed people that are living things that aren't organized like us. It's going to happen if you go to the park and just start throwing a bunch of bread everywhere. You're going to create a mess because the birds are just going to wall out. Uh, same thing with these low IQ African niggas. Don't, you, don't, you don't do all that shit. Think about the ramifications for a second. It, it's not a lot of good stuff. Anyway, hmm. this conflict with liberals comes from the fact that the Starbucks liberals are essentially, they have everything down. They're against the bankers, the professors sometimes, although that's hit or miss, since you already know these are college Brahmins, and the difference between a high school person and a college person is with high school, you're supposed to act like you're smarter than the teacher. You're supposed to act too cool for school, where with the college niggas, you're cool because of the school, and you're teacher is a brilliant prophet that you love. Uh, so they might go against the professors for a tuition, other things. They might go against the Zionists, but they'll never tackle the merchant. They'll never tackle the Jew. Because that'll... That'll mean that they'll actually have to hold on to some standards, some racialist or religious narrative. Which, of course, they'll never do, or never explicitly, even though their ideology is already a white-friendly thing, tribalistically speaking, a Brahmin white-friendly thing. But what would you expect? Where the progressives, the guys that aren't into that Occupy, the guys that aren't into that Venus Project type of technocracy, the guys that are into a technocracy that's really gonna be about saving the world but yet isn't gonna fucking work. That's just another fucking issue. I'm really starting to miss when politics was much more simple in my head. Where you were either a Brahmin or you were a Vaisya. There wasn't an inter-Brahmin conflict, which I noticed is very interesting. It, it exists. The Starbucks and Bra Brahmins are always going to go after the feed the world, we are the world type Brahmins. The guys that are obviously hipsters versus the guys that are obviously deluded and brainwashed. Piers Morgan types? I don't know. This is Mr. Wonka 7. I just want to let y'all niggas know that life is fucked up. Life is tragic. It, it's fun to see people get into conflicts and try to fight each other off, especially if you don't like both of them. But what's not fun is having to pick a side. It's getting much, much harder to pick between two people, I've noticed. That's why classical liberals have switched to pretending they're right wing and they make up the majority of the alternative right and they started calling themselves libertarians. The more anarchistic ones are borrowing from that Mises pseudo Star Trekian socialist bullshit. The all right is fucked, and if you ain't with me in this one, you fucked too. This is Mr. Rocka 7, suck my dick, and respect the king.